how to open a box? I'm, I'm doing, it's, an, it's called an unboxing. I don't know why people like it. They just like it. Ready? Sure. Okay. Hi, welcome to Matt's Garage. As I was explaining to Gavin, we're going to be doing an unboxing today on a tow bar kit, which is for flat towing vehicles, either behind another vehicle or behind an RV. Turn the camera down, we'll get this box open here. Get, see, you get framing. See, they just see a floating head, so you gotta, you gotta give them more, like from here up. See that? Now they can see more of you. You're not just like a head at the bottom of this. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is a Smitty built tow bar kit. Son, will you do the honors? All right. Whoa. Ta da! We got a bag of bolts. Ugh. This is your safety chain and bolts. Okay, so that's like a that's a bumper bracket. This is also a bumper bracket. What's unique about this kit, or what I, why I got it, is, is actually the attachment system. So I'll explain this. Let's pull these out, pull this out. Damn it! Damn it. Watch your face. Can you pull that uh, box out of there? Just go right somewhere else. So I got this for a couple reasons. One, it's adjustable. I think they're all adjustable to a certain extent. But the real main reason is this one comes with these types of ends. And for those of you with an off-road bumper, you can just use your existing clevis shackle mounts, which this will weld onto the bumper, and you can tow with this. So that's, that's the main reason I got this. They also come with the some more standard <clears throat> pin style ones. So the, those clevis mounts, those are going to go on my Scout, which is more of the uh, tough, tough guy vehicle. <laughs> you like that? You bolt this under your Jeep bumper into the horizontal orientation. Okay. Then swap out the hardware here. You following, Gavin? Kind of. Loud noises. So about the hardware, you go put that there instead, and then you just whoop, put it back on the Jeep, put your safety through, and you're ready to flat tow. Physically, you still got to do stuff to make sure you don't blow up your transfer case, but from the connection standpoint, you're ready to flat tow. This is a very standard um, uh, pitch ball receiver situation here. These are all pretty much the same. So there's nothing special about this except that it's drilled so that the arms pivot here and then you lock them down here. And uh, at the width, and the recommended width is usually 33 inches from uh, pin to pin. So just something to consider. So what do I think of this? I think it's okay. I can't say it's like amazing. Like it just looks like standard stuff. It's got a 5,000 pound rating, which is more than enough for what I need, and uh, yeah, what do you think, Gavin? I don't know, because I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You heard it here first. So that's my, that's my mediocre unboxing, Gavin and I's mediocre unboxing of the, uh, of the tow bar. See you next time at Matt's Garage. Thank mm -hmm. you.